What's up? Nothing over here collecting these payments because the people think they can play with me and George Biden drops stimulus checks. Joe Biden, George Biden, they still dropping checks. If he if people got forty eight hundred dollars cuz and they not paying their payment in their car payment and their bills. So I'm repoing shit today. Oh, wow. I'm repoing shit today. How you feeling, boo? I'm feeling okay, but what's going on? I don't know. Huh? What's going on? Um, recently, somebody that I was in a relationship with, I felt like I've been used. And I done told you about that. I feel like I've been taken advantage of. And you know what? Have you had um, in your heart from the beginning? Huh? Did you have that feeling in your heart from the beginning? No, it ain't that I had that feeling from the beginning, but it, if I know that I, you know what I'm saying, like somewhere, or I, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. somewhere, and I want to wear somebody with them, it's like they get mad because I didn't wish that. You so what happened, but see, but see, what happened was that, um, what happened was is that, um, I was talking to someone, and it's someone that that did show up to my birthday party. That did, you know, and uh, he hit me in my text message, mm -hmm. and I met him because I didn't wake him up at six thirty. So. Yeah, I really don't know what's all but hey, it is what it is. It's time to move on. Listen to this. But, with the but you, but my thing is, <laughs> oh my God, he literally blocked, like he literally just got mad because I did not wake up up at 6 30 for his meeting. Are you an alarm clock, Shamar? Even though that, you know what I'm saying, even though that he is, even though that he do got business and he got a business going on or whatever, but my thing is, is that it's not my fault. Yeah, Shamar, let me ask you a question real quick. I didn't know you were an alarm clock, and if he's a man of business, why the hell is he not waking up on time before time to handle his shit? That's a problem. I mean, I did, but what? I did, but see, but see, it was past his thirty, mm -hmm. and I called, I called him. It was past his thirty. You know what I'm saying? I don't did what I did. I don't I don't did my part. I don't apologize. I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, you going out for me for no reason and get mad at me for no reason. So that that making me realize that making me think to myself, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now that you not fucking with me or you you just done with me. Then you were saying that I'm a liar, but I never lied about nothing. And you know that in your heart, it's not your fault. So that's on him. Forget him. That's his feelings. You need to boss up and focus on you. Forget him. On to the next one. On to the next move. Because you don't got to blame yourself. I haven't, I haven't lied about anything. True. I haven't lied about anything. We was at, I was at the mall. My friend, then my friend was just out of, you know what I'm saying, get out, get out of jail. We went to the mall and stuff like that. And it turns out that, boom, this happened. Like, Mm -mm. He just hit me with the text. No, you know what? I said he about hit me back with the. I said he about hit me back with the. What you doing, babe? Or you know what I'm saying? It's giving like shit like that. But he didn't even hit me back with that. He just hit me back with. He, you know what I'm saying? He wake me up and this and the third. Do <laughs> it. Like, I, I, at this point, it's time for me to move on. Yes. I have to move on. Yes, exactly, because you don't... You do him, care. And I do me. Who gonna be mad because you didn't wait? You do him, and I do me. Are you serious? Oye, tu hombre... Yeah. Si tu no te respetas... Si tu no te respetas a tu hombre, ¿se va a enojar? No. No, porque tu no... Exactly. That's crazy. 
Baby, you need to listen. So from today on out, you need to say to yourself that me, Shamar, that you're a boss ass bitch. And you got everything going for you, but you can't let no man hold you down that's going to be mad because you didn't wake him up. If he don't ask God to wake him up or the whoever he prays to or a damn alarm clock, he better get the fuck playing with you. Cousin, yeah, you, you are everything and you don't need to be, um, forget him, let him be mad because a man who's going to be mad, he's going to be unmad. It's human nature. People going to be unmad and he's going to miss you. But you're going to be so bossed up, 10 levels ahead, and you're going to be looking down on his stink ass. Sorry. But I just, like, to me, because I, I felt like I did. I, I asked him. Like, I, I felt like I did something wrong with this. I was like, no, Shema, you did not do that wrong. Yeah. He's mad at you because you did not wake him up at 630. He said, call him and wake him up at 630, at 630 in the evening because he had to go to his meeting. If I ain't mistaken, he if I ain't mistaken, he said his meeting was at when, 7, 7 o'clock? If I ain't mistaken. But other than that, I just feel like he just got mad for no reason and just stopped dealing with me. So I'm good. Because you are good. You're more than good. You're great and you're perfect. And you already know it's the it's the it's the lame it's the lame. I just to me to me I would just say that I would never in my entire life let this happen to me again. I would never in my entire life Post another nigga on my page. On, yeah, I would tell you about it. like that. Don't get MAD from the MAB. This is Vaughn speaking. I may help you. Every. Hey, boo, it's me. Vaughn. No, it was in the evening. It was in the evening. Yeah. He, wa me, he wanted me to wake him up at 6 30. At 6 30. That's what he wanted. Um, Give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and transfer you, okay? Tamara, can you explain it? Thank you, cause I got it. It's stimulus check. All I know is if I tell you an amount today, you need to be like, "All right, I'm sending it over," cause you got money and she got a kid. Twenty eight hundred dollars. I'm sick of it. Boo. Right, but you know what? Um, I'm ready to put my heart on the market too. We need to be looking for. We need to go look for a man together. But we need to go to my spots, cause the men we find are gonna be classy. They're not gonna ask you to wake them up. They ain't gonna ask you to do nothing. Else. They probably like shut they did, but that's it. But, but see, my thing is, yeah, like, to me, I was just going to, like, focus on me and focus on my reason. That's about it. But yeah, it is. I can't focus on nothing else. I can't, I can't do that. ¿Ya está listo? Yeah. Bueno. Oh, y ya oh, tú yeah. te puedes ir al DMV a coger el, el, la, la chapa. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que sí, tú lo puedes coger la chapa. Ya. Ok, ¿puedo ir yo? Sí, sí. Yo, yo, tú tienes que traer el bill of sale. Mm -hmm. También tú tienes que pagar, yo creo, 30 dólares. ¿25 dólares o 35? Yo creo que tiene que hacer un appointment, pero yo no sé. ¿Y en qué tipo de county? ¿Qué county? ¿Qué county? Gwinnett. Gwinnett. Okay, uh, I don't know if you set an appointment or you can just walk in. Te quiero mucho, Verónica. Y gracias por pagar on time y before. Yeah, no, no, I'm just, I'm just down there just do what I gotta do and move on and shit like that because at this moment I just felt like that he got mad for no reason. You have to move. He really did. That's he got mad for no reason. For no reason. Shamar. You can't let that, you can't let a man like that get to you because there's so much out here. There's so much money out here. There's so much opportunities. There's so much other men out here that actually love you and that actually, that don't care if you don't wake them up because they're already aw awakened at work hours. Like, who sleep at six o'clock? Are you sleep at six o'clock, Shelby? Yeah. Hell no. I'm getting money at but see, it's, but see, I'm the type of person I am because... This ain't his first time getting mad. This is like his second time getting mad. The first time he had got mad was Ferrari. Calm down. But um, the second time that he had got mad was when um when my ex popped up at my house, and then he saw. I guess he saw a picture or a video. He saw a video of my ex was all up on me and stuff. That's when he had got mad and he started talking to me then. Now, I told him that, you know what I'm saying, 
I apologize. It will never happen again. It's just that it's third. And ever since then, I started being loyal to him. So, Cousin. I don't know because I, I feel real stupid at the moment. I feel stupid at the end right now. Yes, if you have 1400 you can come and get a card today. All the cards are starting off at $1,000. Just go to my page and you'll see that. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Shamar. Somebody asked me a question. But you know you was dead wrong. Now, you know I'm going to tell you if you're wrong because if you're in a commitment with somebody, you can't be ha – now, you can't, you can't have that. Now, that's wrong because if I'm in a commitment with somebody and somebody's ex – Pulled up to the house. I'm gonna be angry too because if I well, I didn't no no. But see, he popped up at my house. I didn't. I was sleep. Oh, he you didn't. I was sleep. Yeah, I was sleep. He pulled up. He actually popped up at my house. Oh well, if he did a pop up, yeah, that no cap. Yeah, he popped up at my house when I was sleep. But you gotta understand where the home where where and I messed around and let him in when I ain't supposed to let him in my house. True, but you got to understand where, where man coming from. I would be mad too, but he has to understand you. The whole thing is understanding. Y'all are not under, he's not understanding you. And the whole thing is he got you fucked up from day one, getting mad at you though. That's my thing. So he got mad because I didn't wake him up. Yeah, that's the, first of all. And I, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I forgot the time. I really did. I forgot the time. Miss mm -mm. Becky, you I forgot the time. Wake him up. Huh? That's what I'm saying. But if he didn't wake you up, are you going to be mad at him? That's what I'm saying. Real couples don't get mad if the, the other spouse doesn't wake them up. <laughs> that's 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 uh that's city girl uh relationship shit. Real couples, mature couples do not get mad if the other spouse doesn't wake them up. That's what I'm saying. You got you got to step you got to step your level of men up. I'm telling you, you need to come with me. I don't got a man, but I'm going to go look. <laughs> hey, don't listen to my advice because I ain't shit, Shamar. You know me. I don't got no man. <laughs> Ooh, look what? at Bobby. When'd you get him or her? Uh, Shamar, you gonna come for dinner this week? Yeah, where is gonna be at? My house. Oh yeah. Or just come up to the job if you want to come up here. I'll give you an Uber. We can have lunch. Shit. Oh god. I just be chilling. But listen to this, and we gonna matter of fact, let's go bow your head, Shamar, because you know I'm finna rain blessings on your life. Bow your head. Shamar, uh, what the hell would you playing with that dog? Go yeah. ahead. No, nah, I was just I Shamar, bow your head. Okay. Hey, me, Jesus, God, I hold on, wait. Let me go. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. I know you ain't just interrupt Jesus. Oh, uh, no, no. I ain't hit the rest of my I'm trying to put my phone up because it's on the charger. But I'm ready. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I just want to come to you today, Lord. Um, thanking you, Lord, for everything that you've done in our life, Lord, my life, Shamar's life, and everybody who's watching, Lord, and everybody who's surrounded with us, Lord. Lord, I ask that you rain blessings upon Shamar, Lord, and I ask that you wash his thoughts to where they're nothing but positive and pure, Lord, Lord, that you bless him with a man that's nothing but nothing but strong, nothing but strength, nothing but caring, and nothing no, nothing other than being able to provide for him, Lord, and for him to provide for himself, Lord. Lord, I ask that you have everybody watching. Just rain positivity, Lord. Anybody who's negative, Lord, upon me or Shamar, anybody that's just negative upon us, Lord, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, I ask that you bless our wallets, Lord, three times up. Everybody who's in this building with me, everybody who's watching this live, and I ask that you do the same for Shamar, Lord. Lord, I ask that you bless me with a man personally, Lord, because, Lord, you know I've been single for a long time, and I know we're not supposed to be talking about this gay stuff, Lord, but you know you said if I ask personally, Lord, that you would do it. So you know I'm humble, Lord, and you know I've been doing my thing, Lord, so you already know you need to bless me with a Latino man, Lord. A Latino man, he's established, and he got some money, and if he's not in Texas, he's in Atlanta, Lord, and he is not sick with no AIDS, no STDs, or no STIs, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I claim that in the name of Jesus right now. I claim that he is not sick. Woo! In the name of Jesus, I come to you today, Lord, praying and blessing everybody, and I come to you and saying amen. 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 Shamari, ooh. Oh, yeah. I thought I was a customer. I said, Lord, the blessing with a customer. <laughs> but no, for real, everything is going to be good. Y'all don't come at me why I like Latino men and not black men. That's another conversation for another day because that's what I like. And I mean, look at the Latinos. Not even that. Black men are trash. Like, I just prefer me. I like Latinos. I said American. My American. You said Thai 
So I need you to take a deep breath. And say this with me. I am the best. I am the best. I am a boss ass bitch. I am a boss ass bitch. Online and offline. Online and offline. And I will be the best. And I will be the best person that I can be. And be the best person that I can be. Period. And don't let nobody exploit you, use you for shit. Don't nobody, don't let, if it's not for your benefit, even if it's not just from, don't even look at the dollar. Look at it, it's going to positively benefit your life where you see yourself wanting to be 30 years from now. Don't let nobody just offer you a dollar to do anything, Shamar. Know what you want to do and know your value and know your worth. And just know if you ever want a job offline, you can always come here to the dealership with me, bitch, because you know I love you and I get you right. Yeah. I love you. You going to come and see me? Yeah, I will. You plan. Come and see me this afternoon. Yeah, I'm for real. I'm going to come up there. Yes, I'll get us lunch, and I'll get you, I'll Uber you over here, and if you stay a little bit, I'll take you home, but you more than welcome to come to me. I, okay, I will. I'm praying and said the B word. And the B word is in the Bible. Is it? Yes, it is. Wait, no. Is bitch in the Bible? No. It has to be some type of cuss word. It must be in the Bible. Okay. Oh, no. I don't think the Bible says anything about bitch. Okay, it does. And, for, and all for the countess whorings of prostitute graceful and deadly charms who betrays nations with her whoring and people with her charm. Nahum 3-4. Well, that says whore. Whore, not bitch, but it's okay. Because God knows He's I didn't. Like oh, look, y'all think I'm playing about towing cars? Oh, Come on, now. This is the one I sent out yesterday? Come on, now. Y'all think the tow man not on tap? The tow man is on tap! Oh, but it's not bien porque está towing los cars, see? ¿sí? No, no está para vender. Oh, it's tuyo. Oh, bueno, porque tú sabes, yo lo voy a vender. I'm ready. Yo soy el vendedor, papi. Don't play with me. It's not for sale? Okay, well, you better get it. Get it off my lot. I'm selling everything. Shamar, tell them to stop. And come into this dealership for $500. Period. Period. I'm telling you, even with a thousand, if you got three kids and if they running up here with a snotty ass nose and you got a thousand dollars, I can't get you a car. At least have two bad. You got three kids. I need two thousand down. Hey, you there. Yes, today is going to be such a good day. Like, I feel all the positive vibes. And um, Joe Biden need to send me a stimulus so I can go ahead and get my teeth done. Mm. And buy a couch. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it's a dealership. It's a buy here, pay here lot, y'all. Buy here, pay here lot, y'all. So we don't check no credit. As long as you work, you drive, you make about 2000 a month. Sorry. If you got a valid Georgia driver's license, if you got a piece of mail, you can verify your income, you can come and get a car. And do not come broke. Sick of this shit. How are you feeling though? Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Do you feel a little better? You sure? Yeah. I love you, cousin. I love you too. I love you so much for real. And just remember, it's nothing about pot pot be positive, know your value, and please, 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 please stay 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 doing what you're doing. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be that one day where you wake up and somebody going to have that blessing you've been waiting for. I love you too, you guys. Hello. All right, boo, text me. I, uh, I'm boo. about to get on live, y'all. Cause I really okay. Are you okay, boo? You All know, right. Still... No, -uh, no, nah, because Shamar. You still down, boo? No, I ain't, I ain't still down, but at the same time, you got to get over it. Yeah. Because it just it shocked me. 
that, you know what I'm saying, my heart just been broken like that. And I just feel like that I've been taking a bad job. And you know the sad part about Especially with somebody that I truly did love and that I truly did like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really did like the help. And for him to do me like that, it just really, like, just let me know, like, Shamar, this is the reason why you can never keep a man. Because look what they doing to you. They try to pretend like they love you. They try to pretend like they fuck with you. But really, in reality, they fuck with you for clout. And that's not how I want to look at him as. I don't want to look at him as that. I want to look at him as that the person, if you going to fuck with me, fuck with me for me and not for no clout. If you going to get mad at things, don't get mad at petty things. Because I never got mad at you about nothing. I never got mad at him about nothing. Never. I didn't get mad at him because of some fact, you know what I'm saying? He feel like that I just, I, I didn't wake him up. He feel like I didn't wake him up. Shamar, you got to love, let me tell you something real quick. I'm going to give you a little story. I don't really talk about it on Instagram like that, but it went through a time where it was a family member. You already know my story, but I was feeling the same way, not loved and not appreciated. You start feeling so much better when you love yourself. And it's not just saying that you love yourself. You have to actually love yourself to a point to where it's, it's, it's this love to where you don't give a damn. To where, oh, he acting like that? On to the next. Because you love yourself so much. You know your worth and you know your value that you know how much to put into people. From the get-go, from jump, when you meet these men, again, I'm not in a relationship, but I, I, I know shit. You can't be, right. you can't give too much up front because you giving so much to somebody who's not shit that won't reciprocate it back to you. So it's almost like you're putting money in a safe, you're putting money in a savings account that you can't even withdraw later. What's the what's the point? It's a moot point. It's a point that's so invalid. It mean it means not even wasting your time with it. Once you catch two red flags, because we're human, we fuck up. But you got to look at behavior patterns. And you don't need a man online. You need to find a man offline. You need to go to a different area and find a man that's not online. Find a man who doesn't give a fuck about Instagram. Find a man who doesn't care if you post them or you don't. I did, I did not even, I did not even want to that. It's just so crazy because he was like, you see how you just went on there and talked about me? Like, he thought I really, on, I really went on there and talked about him. And I wanted to talk to him about it, but then again, Niggas don't give a fuck at this moment. Like, for real, for real. Niggas don't give a fuck about who they, you know what I'm saying, fucking with or not. Not even me. I've been through a lot in my life. I've been through a lot of shit in the past. I don't been stabbed up, been molested. I've been through a lot of shit. I've been through a lot of shit. Like, for real. And I'm I'm just not just saying it, just say this, but it's just the simple fact that when I need somebody, or you know what I'm saying, I got a friend that I can call on. I got a friend that I can meet. I got a friend that I can talk to. But then they'll actually tell me, Shamar, you don't need that person, or you don't need this person. You need yourself. You'll never find yourself if you, if you into niggas like that. If you really love a nigga like that. It's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't just normally just, you know what I'm saying? I don't normally just do that, but at the same time, if I feel like that I'm into you and I feel like that my heart is into you and I feel like that I'm taking you serious, then I'm taking you serious. Then I mean that you have to just hit me with that. I feel you. Yeah, I mean, you, that. you know what, what he did what he did was just like dead ass wrong. It was like dead ass wrong. And I just feel like he literally just went out for me for no reason. And literally chopped me out for no reason. So with that being said, that's why I said I'm going to just leave him alone and just, you know, let him do it. He got to do it. I'm going to focus on me and move on with my life because I can't do it no more. Shamar, real quick. Uh, my heart been broken Shamar, so real, many. Real quick. Boo. My heart been Shamar. broken so many. Bye. What? Be quiet for our... But, yeah, my heart been broken so many times to the point where every, like, if I could really tell my story, I could. But it's, it's been a lot of shit that I have been through since I was young. Ever since I was so, ever since I was young, I used to always get with it in school. Motherfucker used to bully me. 
Motherfuckers used to always kept coming at me, kept coming at me. I came home and I wanted to like literally do something bad to myself. But then someone just like, no, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? People don't love us black people out here. They really be hating on us black people. And for me to even show people love, I have to really show the real me. Like, and I don't be trying my heart. I don't be trying my heart not to even be mean or be rude or be this or be that because of the simple fact of what I'm going through, because of the simple fact of how I'm going through it, because of the simple fact, you know? Are you looking to buy a car? Okay, give me one second, I'm gonna transfer you, okay? Okay. Shamar, I'm sorry about that. I thought it was the, um. I thought it was a customer about a car, but the dog is crying so much and it's And all I can say is, baby, you gotta we can just pray on that. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically what I would just do. I would just pray on that because I it's like my life it's like my life is just I don't know. Like I'm just like in the vehicle that you purchased. Did you could? And sometimes I do be want to tell him about my problem, but see, now he don't know what he did. So. And maybe cars. This is Vaughn speaking. I may help you. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Sit, Ferrari. Sit. Uh uh. No. <laughs> sit. For me, y'all. That dog is no, crying no. in that background. I'll put that dog in the next room. I'll do dogs. Girl, what it be? The thing start to cry. Nah, he don't like being in the day. He like to play. Like, he's just a happy dog. He know to play. Huh? Why you got him in the cage? No, because, you know, he be... Pissing and shit. He be, you know, yeah. But listen, cousin, so... But I got him out of the cage, though. You have to, and you know what? I feel it. Once I lost my grandma, and you know my grandma adopted and raised me, and that was that was my everything. That was my mom. And once she died, I felt, you know, I felt, I felt like a piece of, I felt like my heart left. You feel me? Like that was, it. that was my everything. And you know, I, I feel you, and I feel what you're going through. Believe me, and I know with your, with you know, but both us losing our moms, the people that been in our lives and being close to us, I feel like we look for love and we look for that void that's in our heart because we're missing our, we're missing that one loved one that's been there every day for us. And you know. Now is the time where you got to pray a lot harder. And I'm saying this with a serious heart. You're going to feel that void in your heart where you're going to be missing your mom so much and you're going to be looking for it in a man. You feel me? And it's going to be. And I, and I still, and you know what? It's crazy because remember what I told you when she first passed away. I told you that she had passed away. Mm -hmm. And I had to go and just give myself some time to cry and talk to her. Yeah. Now, up to this day, I still think about her and I still love her. But I feel like my mom was a part of me, and I feel like a part of me have left. Ever since my mom left, it was like I wanted to leave this world. Yeah, I didn't even want to stay in this world. That that's how much that I loved my mother. Like I'm a mother's boy. I did not want to stay in this world. If, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Last night I had to leave this house because of some fact of what was going on. You know what I mean? I had to leave this house. Did. Me, me personally, I don't like feeling like this. Like, I'm so dead for real. I don't like feeling like this. I feel like that when I think about my mom, I really be thinking about my mom, and people don't understand it. I think about my mom. I miss my mom. And they be like, oh, you just use that as a student. No, I'm not using that as a student. People don't understand the things that I go through. People don't understand that my family is my family at the end of the day. I love my sister, I love my brother, I talk to my brother and I talk to my sister. But at the same time, I'm over here hurting right now. I'm over here hurting. When I say I'm over here hurting, I'm over here hurting. I feel you. My heart, my soul, my everything is hurting right now. When my mother left this world, when my mother left this world, I wanted to leave this world with her. I wanted to, I, it was like, it was like, I just wanted to say, fuck it. I want to be done. I want to, like, literally just be over with. I want it to be over with. 
and we need to remember. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers gonna hate me. Motherfuckers gonna quit me to the day I die. It is what it is. Like I said, just know that I'm good. Just know that I'm gonna be strong. Just know that God got me. Just know that Shamar is that bitch in real life. Just know that motherfuckers that hate on him, that talk about him, that talk about my body and say this, that, and third, just know that I'm good. Just know that I'm good. And then just know that. And then I'm going to tell you this too. And then, you know, because again, we go through this, you know, I feel it and I feel it because the day I lost my mama too. And a lot of people say, well, Miss Nisi's your mom. You know, that's your mom. Miss Nisi had me. A lot of people know Miss Nisi had me. My grandma was my mom on my birth certificate. When she died, I felt the same way, Shamar. I was grieving for so long. And, you know, I feel like I still grieve and we all grieve in different ways. And you got to remember when you grieve, you got to pray because while you're grieving, you will find yourself into different, you'll find yourself grieving in ways that aren't listed on the internet. You feel me? That's why I'm saying everybody grieves in a different way, but you have to recognize how you're grieving and you, you, you got to kind of, you know, gr you know, gr grieve in a different, in a gr different way. Again, meaning when you're looking out for love, trying to fill the void in your heart, you know, because of your mom, my thing is I work, you know, I don't get that. I don't, I can never, I don't give a, I don't give a damn anybody. I got 1200 people watching me right now and I don't give a damn if anybody says that. Don't nobody love me like my, 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 my Celinda love me. Don't nobody love me like my mama loved me who died. Don't nobody love me like that. So it's like the only person, the only thing I can do is work. I work. I put my energy in something positive to where I know so they're going to appreciate me. I know my value. I'm going to get my value out of it. I do something that I love. You know what I mean? So when it's when it's when you're feeling down like this, get do something you love. Even if it's coming chilling with me, Shamar, I'll talk to you all fucking day. I get it. I get it. There's times I wanted to kill myself because I lost my mom. There's times I went through I went through crazy. I was sleeping with people. I was doing crazy shit. I get the first year my mom died. I went and believe me, I went through some real crazy shit. You wouldn't even think like, wow, Vaughn was doing shit like that. And I had to recognize how negative and how positive it wasn't for me. And you have to channel your energy into something that you love. Because if you do something you love and you do the right thing, you're going to have a good life. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel good. So when it's coming to, you have, like they said, pick your crown up and put it back on because you are a king. You are a young black man king, regardless of how you act or what you do. You are still a king. And it is your job to be able to do everything that you need to do. You need to be a boss for your, think of being a boss for yourself and be that boss for your family too. When people look at Shamar, they need to look back at how Shamar was and be like, damn man, Shamar done bossed up. And I'm telling you, once you do that, you're not even gonna care about the next man. You're not even gonna, for, you're not even gonna. And I'm not, and I'm, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna do that. That's why I say like, I already got booked in Alabama. I gotta go there, I gotta host for somebody. Um, party, and then it's another one. I think Eric told me about the girl trying to book me for, um, or whatever. So it's just like I'm booked for like two, two events. Mm -hmm. you know, like, I got an event in Florida. Uh, I want you to go with me next month if you want to come. I'm gonna drive. Yeah, I got it. I I just got to like there just fucking on myself and just know that mm -hmm. niggas ain't shit nowadays and niggas don't love you for you. They only love you because What's of what up, you Mr. got Armstrong? and how you got I'm it sorry, and shit like I'm that. You. you know, you know like for real, for real, y'all. Like, y'all just don't understand. Y'all really don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just don't understand it. My life is so hard, y'all. My life is so so hard. My life been so hard. Ever since my mother passed away, I haven't been the same. And I'm just being real with y'all. I haven't been the same. And it's going to be hard. It. It's going to be hard, but it's not what happens to you, Shamar. It's how you deal with it. And that's going to make you the king that you are. It's how you deal with those negative ass situations. You can get your ass beat right now and smile, have a smile on your face and still do what you do and still be positive because it's how you deal with it. People look at how you deal with it. I promise you, your life will be, your life is going to, your life is going to be so much easier because you're going to learn how to deal with negative energy. Once you learn how to deal with negative energy the correct way, I promise you, your life just goes a lot more smoother. And you need to surround yourself with positive people like Eric. Eric is positive. Eric, everybody who was at your birthday, except a couple people, except, you know, 
is positive. You feel me? You have to surround yourself with people that you that you see yourself being like. You feel me? You need to positive people is key. That's all you need right now is to be around positive people and people offline. People that's offline and be strong as well too. And pray. That's all I can say is I know I joke so much and when I pray a lot, you know when I pray I joke, but I I I pray. And I'd be serious. I'd be serious, too. And you got to be serious and just pray and do the right thing, Shamar. And then nothing but goodness is going to come to your life. And fuck all the people that bash you. Because at the end of the day, Shamar, you have so much going for you. And you're so loved. And I'm telling you, even if it's people out there that don't love you, just know you got people this way that love you. And right. that I need a dentist, y'all can kiss my ass. Because I bet, um, um, I bet, um... You know, I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for them. And no, I'm not wasting my time, y'all, because Shamar is my family. And even if it, it's going, he going, he hear me. Dime. And I am. I'm going to talk to God. I really am. I'm going to leave and talk to God. Como? I really am. I'm going to leave and talk to God, y'all, yeah, because... Yeah, right there, it just really shot me mm. so bad. See? That means, they're like, why these people are really doing me so dirty? Why these people are really taking advantage? Why these people do not? You know what I'm saying? Like, with that being said, I got to talk to God, and I got to give myself time, and I got to literally relax and just be like, Shamar, it's time for you to do what you have to do. It is 2021. You do not need nobody at this moment. You need some time to yourself. You need to do you. Because if you don't, if you, if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. Exactly. That's the truth. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will. And that's the real truth. Thing. If I don't love myself, nobody else will love me. And you got to say that every day and you got to make sure you love yourself and you're doing the proper things that people that when you love yourself, you do. And you, and you know, it's really so crazy because the, the little driver even told me, the little driver was just like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, um, he was like, Shamar, let me just tell you something. No matter what you go through, no matter how you go through it, no matter what it is, just know that you have people that look up to you. Just know that you are an uh, inspiration to a lot of people. Just know you have inspired a lot of people. When I heard him say that, I, I wanted to break down crying right then and there in that car because of him telling me that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that I have if I have, I have inspired a lot of people. Even the kids. Uh, the kids, they see me, they be so excited to see me. I'm talking about everywhere I go. And I just feel like that. You know what I'm saying? I love my supporters. I love everybody that does support me. I love the people that hate on me. I love everybody. I don't have nothing to get nobody. I love y'all. But at the same time, if y'all see me going through some shit, just let me know. Like, Shamar, it's going to be okay. Exactly. It's going to be okay. You did not come in this world with people. You came in this motherfucking world alone. And you're going to go out this bitch alone. Period. Just know that when you go out this bitch alone, you better make sure you go out this bitch with a bang. You need oh, God, you better make sure you go out this bitch with a bang. You don't need no man. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that I'm all single again because of what just happened. You know? <laughs> Fuck the relationship. Once you move different, you'll... I feel like that's what it is. I, I just feel like that's what it is. My life is too short. I could walk out of my house today and somebody could shoot me. I could walk anywhere and somebody could jump on me. I could walk anywhere. Motherfuckers be acting like they got beef with me. Motherfuckers be, you know what I'm saying? And me personally, I don't be paying attention to that shit. I don't be paying attention to that, attention to that shit. When I, be, when I be going to my auntie's house, it's this guy... They be hopping out of the car and he be seeing me all the time. I don't know what his problem is, but you know what I'm saying? He be seeing me out, he be seeing me, and then he'll try to, you know what I'm saying, record me. I don't know what he got going on. I don't know if, you know what I'm saying, if he got a, I don't know what it is. I just don't know, but it's like people be wanted my attention so bad. 
And then when I when I don't give them that attention, they be thinking I'm being me. And I'm not being me. I promise you I'm not being me. I just don't have time for that that try to bash me shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been bashed for so long. I've been with it for so long. I I've been with it since I was motherfucking young, like real shit. This ain't no this ain't no joke game. For real, for real. When I I'm telling y'all, this ain't no joke game. Period. I had three parties to call. It was three parties to call. Pulled up at my mother's house, checking up on me. All because of a simple fact, I could have almost committed suicide. All because of the simple fact that I could have been leery, like leery. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. There's a lot of people, a lot of people, like, people out here that really talk of shit. Y'all might want to, like, there just stop and leave me alone with that. Please leave me alone with that. What they, what? Please leave me alone with that. Because they, they, you know what I'm saying, they all here just being so rude. And I, don't, I don't got time for that. Yeah, we don't got no time for no rude stuff. But again, remember how what I said? It's how you deal with it. Let them say what they want to say. Right. Let people be rude. And that's a deal. And I can deal with the hate. Die. I can deal with the hate. I can really deal with the hate. Yeah. I don't got no problem with that. I can deal with the hate. Because you know what a girl told me? She if I was you, I would have been folded up. I would have been folded up. Yeah. I would have been like literally took my life out. But instead, I just said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to fucking do that. I promise you on that. I'm not going to do that. I, I have a life to live. I'm not going to do that. I'm a strong person. I can't just wear alone and I'm gonna go out this bitch alone. Just remember that. Just remember that. Real shit. Just remember when I come in this world alone, I'm gonna go out with a bag. Hold on, cousin. So just, just did an inquiry on the car. You already know when the money car. I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. What it is. Period. Hello, Miss Karma. It is what it is. Hey, my friend, this is yeah, it's real. Like, this ain't no count. This ain't no game. This, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. I saw that you're this, this, you know what I'm saying? You the Camry that I'm called. good. I'm, I'm good. But it's unfortunate. just know that it's, this will never happen again. That guy never changed. I will right. never in my motherfucking entire life ever get my heart broken again. How? I will never in my entire life get my heart broken again. Real shit. Other cars here on Real shit. I would never do that again. Never, ever in my life get my heart broken. Um, how much do you have down? For real, for real. I never do that. With a thousand, I mean. I got popular on my own. I got famous on my own. Uh, I don't need nobody. In the crisis. Oh, I don't need nobody. And that's real too bad. Less money. If you can make your budget, you can. That's real too bad. Fifteen. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I just need like to just focus on myself from now on and focus on my music. I would never in my entire life fuck. I would never in my motherfucking entire life ever. What I mean ever? I mean never in my entire life be loyal to another nigga again. Especially a nigga that can't even be serious. <laughs> I can't even talk to me and take me serious. I can't do it no more. <laughs> nah, I can't. Okay. All that after they die. I just say, how you buy after you die? Yeah, that's that. I was just saying. <laughs> but yes, I have that one. And I have a couple other cars over here. Did you want to come out today and check us out? That's an 05, but it has only 130,000 miles. She never did. It was just really part of the thing. I just feel like my heart just been like there, just tall the part. Uh, because of what was going on. I'm going to go ahead and send you. If I wanted to, and I tried, like, y'all, when I say I tried, I literally tried and tried and tried. You're welcome texting that as well. Try and hey, try bro. and try. You know, all the bonds. But when a person don't want to deal with you, a person don't want to deal with you. All righty, my friend. And I just feel like they, you know, you don't want to deal with me. Shamar, I love you so much. Um, the live is about to hang up. I think I've been on for an hour and one minute and 22 seconds. Shamar, text me. Let's talk for real. Um, if you want to come out here, you can. Y'all, I love y'all so much. If y'all need a car, I'm at MAB Cars. Just message me. I got about 20 cars left on the lot. The down payment started off at about $1,200. So if you need a car for real, for real, you got a Georgia license. 
you can i don't care if you, you you sell drugs i don't care if you sell ass sell pussy you can come and buy a car as long as you get paid you can drive must be able to get georgia auto insurance i work with insurance too so come and see me shamar message me for real so we can come up so so we could talk and i'll get you lunch Okay. I love you so much, okay, boom? All right. All right, y'all. I love y'all, and y'all be blessed. I was about to shut off, so y'all go fault me. All right, y'all.